What's up folks? I'm excited to bring you this video about Galveston. This is a really cool area. I enjoy spending time in the city of Galveston. And it's a unique place with a lot of history and culture and some interesting buildings. It's right by the Gulf of Mexico. They got a good amount of live music there. So I want to help you understand what Galveston is about and where you can find that live music and the nightlife here. In this city that is about an hour south of Houston, right along the Gulf of Mexico with a population of about 50,000 people. Now the first footage I'm showing here is of the Pleasure Pier. This is where you find that Gulf of Mexico and you can find the beach here at Galveston and uh, find some rides on that Pleasure Pier. I know the name sounds like you can find even more than rides, but I think that's all they offer. Now the pier is located along Seawall Boulevard and it really is a seawall. This is a barrier basically that's put up all around the water here to make sure that the water doesn't come in during a hurricane. And they put this up as a result of the Great Galveston Hurricane of 1900 that killed, they think, about 6,000 people. So they actually raised the city in some parts by 10 feet. They brought in a bunch of, you know, sand and dirt from surrounding areas. It was a Herculean effort to rebuild the city. And it persevered, although it's definitely been impacted by that, because somewhere in people's minds, they know that something like it can happen again. But the seawall does help, does keep that water away. Now the first place I want to feature is a pretty popular place called the Poop Deck. This is a place that's popular with locals and when you hang around Galveston you can get a sense for what the locals look like. These are pretty skinny people with leathery skin, kind of older, they got cut off jean shorts, they're riding around in beach bikes, look like they're probably smoking a cigarette, and they're living that laid-back Galveston lifestyle. Now I came here for an open mic that they had at one point with Tony Salinas, or Tony Salinas. He was hosting, and I don't think they're hosting that open mic here at the moment, but he is playing there with his band and he plays there frequently. Next up I want to tell you about this place called Woody's, which is a bit of a drive there along that coast of uh, the beach of Galveston. And it's just an interesting looking place, all up there on stilts, overlooking the water. And uh, when I was there, I met two Houston uh, performers, Katie Katie and Aaron Cantor, and uh, talked to them, and it was very interesting. They've been touring around the area since then, since back when I met them. And uh, they were trying to get a gig there at Woody's, talking to the owner. And I guess apparently they typically host bands there at this place and not solo acts. So that was that. But now I want to move to the Strand. This is the popular cool spot to be and I want to show you what the Strand looks like during Mardi Gras. This is the first time I came into Galveston and I didn't even know they were having Mardi Gras. But it was a whole parade that I walked into. People cheering. So you could see a lot of that cool stuff. A lot of the cool parade floats and people running around. Live music playing in the background. People tossing beads. And all those things that you expect from Mardi Gras. Some people were even staying in RVs. There was a whole line of RVs along the street. They were just staying that whole time. So uh, that was a cool lifestyle that they're leading. And it's a great exposure just to take a look at what the Strand looks like with those buildings. Uh, I just think the history and the way that Galveston looks is so unique compared to other places around Texas. Now, as talking along the Strand, the first place I want to feature is the famous Old Quarter Acoustic Cafe. Old Quarter used to exist in Houston, and this was the famous place where Towns Van Zant recorded his live album. So they got that whole town's history here that they brought with them down to Galveston. I came in on Songwriter Night, which was hosted by Tex Renner, and I uh, got there pretty early where I met Hollister Foley just hanging out outside. He uh, pointed to a picture of him that they had in a collage in the window, which was pretty cool. I never did find out if he put that picture there himself or not. But it felt like a real Galveston experience when I got there and he was telling me he wanted to be the first on the list. He was determined to be the first on the list for open mic and, you know, uh, got his spot there. And then we were just hanging out and getting high and it felt like a real unique Galveston experience there. And they show their history with uh, photos of Blaze Foley and Towns Van Zant all along the wall. I was enjoying those. And shout out to Mark Zeus for uh, giving me some free CDs. He performed and he's a uh, entertaining songwriter from Houston. 
Now we're moving along the Strand into one of the most popular spots to find live music, and that's Bubba's on the Strand. Now I really didn't get enough footage of Bubba's, I tell you what, because uh, this video looks pretty cool. Looks like a fun and happening time, but I've had even more fun and happening times. I've seen some bands do some really cool stuff and get in it with the crowds who are feisty, wanting covers, wanting them to play this and that, when you could tell they're super talented at what they uh, have chosen to play themselves. All right, now we'll move away from Bubba's to short walk away to Sharky's Tavern, another popular spot. They got some good pizza here. At least it looks like it uh, with that pizza oven. And they got an open jam this night hosted by Will Davis. Cody Edwards was there, and I think they might be hosting uh, open jams. Certainly they're playing at Bubba's as well. So I went up there and did some songs with the Galveston locals there at their open jam. Also not far away is this place called Buckshot Saloon. This is the one country dance uh, two-step place that they've got in Galveston. And I can't do a video about country dancing in the Houston area if I don't complain about the dancers. These Houston dancers, they always ask me, I don't know what you're trying to get me to do. I'm trying to get you to move your feet in rhythm with the music. I think at some point the dancers are going to realize that they're supposed to move along with the beat of the music. But you know what? I'm going to go up to Austin one day and get the dancing over there and redeem myself. Next up, I'm featuring Mod Coffee House. Great place to hang out if you can escape in during the midday and get some work done there in the coffee shop. Now they do have live music outside, uh, so they feature local artists mainly. I'd love to play there one day. So this right here was a breakdown of what you can expect from Galveston. I hope you got a view of the Galveston nightlife and the Galveston music scene. All right, there you go. Where, where, you, where did you come from, Dave? I'm in Houston. You, okay. Came down here from Houston. How far up in Houston? All the way up there? All the way up in Houston. Damn. Yeah, I know, it's pretty far. <laughs> not, not just like Leak City or something, huh? <laughs> no, not that far, yeah. yeah. Is that past Texas City? Yeah, <laughs> way past <laughs> Texas City. <laughs> So how do, how do we pronounce your last name? Bridwell. Bridwell, okay. Yeah. Very good. All right, thanks, thanks, yes. 